everybody, so it's Jazz from Jazz and Starla and today what I'm going to be showing you is how to create this really cute original rainbow loom ring called the Jasmine Fairy Ring. So I really hope you guys like my tutorial. I'll leave a link down below in the description box with the link to the Jasmine Fairy Bracelet if you'd like to check that out too. But I think this is such a cute little ring and I wanted to make it in multicolours because I love multicoloured things and I just think it looks so cute. Alright guys, let's get started! So this is how your loom needs to look, with the round edges facing towards you, the red arrow pointing upwards, and it needs to be flat for this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up the middle. So we need to get our first band. I'm going to use pink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do multicolored. So I'm going to go to pink. So just go up. And then I'm going to change to another color. So I'm going to now do purple. You're going to go up. And you're going to continue this three more times, so in any colour that you choose. So one, two, and three. There we go. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a colour. So I'm going to use pink. And what we're going to do is we're going to start here, and we're just going to go up two to end here. So you're going to put it on and go up two, like that. And now we can do around the edges. So we're going to get a white band for the base colour. So I would probably suggest black or white just so it really stands out. And we're going to go to the side. Then we're going to go to the other side. Like that. And then we're going to go up two. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So just go up two bands. One two and then we need to go to the middle so let's start here first and we're just going to go to the middle like that and then the other side so we're going to start here and go to the middle okay and after we've done that what we need to do is we just need to go down two more pegs in the middle so just choose whatever colors you want I'm going to go down in red and orange There we go. Now all we need to do here is we need to make a cap band. So I'm going to get purple. I'm going to pull it across two fingers. I need to make an eight. Put it back on your fingers. And we're going to put it on this end peg here. There we go. Okay, so before we start looping, we just need to do the centre butterfly. So I'm going to get colour because it's going to be all multicoloured. We're going to go through the middle. So just go through the middle pegs, like that. Then you're going to get another colour, and we're going to start here and go all the way across to this peg. So go through the middle and up. And then we're going to start here and go through the middle and up to the other side. There we go. So now we need to turn our loom around so the flat edges are facing towards us. We're going to get our hook and now we're going to start looping. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go under this top cap band, the purple, and we need to grab the orange. And really easy, you just loop it forwards. And you're going to do exactly the same to the red. Like that. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to go under the two top white bands and we need to grab the pink at the bottom. So grab the pink, you're going to bring it up through the middle and across to the other side, like that. Now we can go ahead and grab the first top white band that you come to, bring it off into the side, and then the other white band, bring it to the other side. Okay, now we can start here. Just go under the top bands, grab the white at the bottom and loop it forwards. Go under the blue, grab the bottom band, bring it up and forwards. And then here, all you need to do is grab the white and bring it to the centre. Okay, so exactly the same as you did on this side, you're going to do it to this side. So remember to go under all of the bands, grab the white, loop it forwards. Then under the blue, grab the white. And then you just need to loop it to the middle like that. Okay, 
here we need to go under all of the bands again so just push them out of the way and we need to grab this bottom blue one here so grab it bring it up and loop it forwards okay so that's the difficult bit done now all you need to do is loop them forwards until you get to the end so just keep looping And there we go, that's it created. So you should have something that looks like this. So now you're going to get an S clip or a C clip and we're just going to attach it to this side here. So just go ahead and attach it. There we go, and now you can take it off your loom. Now when you've got your ring all you need to do is attach the S clip or the C clip to the cap band at the end which was the purple. So just attach it on. And here you have your jasmine butterfly ring created. So I really hope you guys like this original tutorial on how to create this ring. If you did remember to give it a big thumbs up, you can subscribe and also leave a comment below. Alright guys so I'll be seeing you in my next video, bye!